Hello everybody and welcome back to Lagoon. Where we last left off, I was in Siegfried Castle. I took the time to grind a bit because... I didn't quite remember what level I was when I uh, beat this place last time. But first, treasure! The other actual stat boosting ring. So I ground up to level 21 and decided, you know what, that'll be enough. Good. And if it's not, well, I was gonna have problems. Speaking of problems, knights. But you know what, I really shouldn't have taken the time to fight these guys. Sorry. Because all I need to do is go back to, uh, Poker, or, well, Hobbit Town, or whatever you want to call it. It's full of short people that aren't dwarves. Or gnomes. Yeah, the further you get in this game, the uh, shorter the people in the towns get. We start with normal person town, then we go to elf town, then we go to dwarf town, then we go to hobbit town, and coming up in this video is gnome town. And we're not even talking like... Barnes and Noble fantasy... Uh, yeah, Tinker Steampunk Gnomes here. We're talking a bit more like, say, David the, as far as uh, gnomes are concerned. Let's see, milk out a bit more experience. Equip the life saving ring. Nasir will not automatically take something from inventory, as I said before. Okay, because there was no mint in the sharp version, you could just go into, uh, the church basement immediately and talk to the spirits here, no problem. Okay. Oh, wait, I already talked to the one nearest the entrance. This really makes me wonder what they actually say in the sharp version of this game. Because there's quite a bit down here that doesn't actually apply for that version's story. The whole light and darkness were meant to work together thing makes more sense once you remember that in the world of Lagoon that the power of light is associated with the moon. And judging by Thor's hair, the power of darkness is associated with the sun. There are only certain magics I will be using in this playthrough, but I think I'll actually show off all of the game's magic in a uh, bonus video. What, not Key of Duma? Okay, 
may just walk out of here. They don't really say anything different on the return trip. Maybe that would happen if uh, some crazy guy got in their her head to do, say, a Lagoon Complete remake or something like that. I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. That is a problem. Thankfully, Duma's room is not actually that deep into Siegfried Castle. You know what? Forget it. Swords are of no more use here. Especially not mine. is one of those bosses that's not so much uh, frustrating as tricky. And since we're going to be fighting him soon, I won't actually have to explain that ahead of time. I better enjoy using magic while it's still useful. This guy... Oh, right. Because Nasir just can't be helped. Okay, fourth boss. Demon Knight Duma. All of his gloating, Duma is a real bro because he doesn't waste our time and transforms into his ultimate form immediately. Now the tricky part about Duma isn't so much that he shoots and that he's only vulnerable when he shoots, but rather that Duma is happy and he knows it. He can really wreck you, but his defense is pretty low, so the battle is probably going to be quick no matter what the result is. As you can see. That was way too close. Okay, the key of Siegfried allows us to exit uh, Siegfried's castle through the back way. I also like how the demons in this game have some sort of uh, historical uh, respect because they immediately didn't change the place of this place's name to uh, Duma's castle or something. We're not quite done with the castle yet, though. This isn't like Philip's castle where you could just head to the next uh, town right after you beat the boss. Oh no, we have to deal with certain enemies, you know, like laser cyclopses.
Thankfully, this is the last place before the actual exit. Ugh, these guys are immune to magic, too. You know, in most other games, heavily armored enemies would be the ones you want to use magic on, but nope! The goon has its own way of doing things. You can put your common Fire Emblem wisdom away here. And apparently I gained a level, that means I'm more vulnerable. I mean, I used that joke already. Thankfully, I now realized exactly where I have to go. Sorry, game designers. I'm not getting lost like you want me to. Okay, in the sharp version of uh, this game, Battler uh, isn't here, it's just Thor who comes to taunt you. In fact, in the sharp version, uh, Battler uh, doesn't ever get any not lines, not even before uh, your boss fight with him. I have to admit, this will make getting to Lagoon Castle rather tricky. Boom, gone. Thankfully, we get our own teleporter this time. Okay, this is where I had to uh, take care of other non-Lagoon business. You know, the kind. So, Lilithi, Gnome Town. In the sharp version, this is where uh, Nasir's uh, sister would show up again. He's not kidding. That ice cave will kill you very quickly. Uh, I have no evidence in my notebook to prove a lie. Okay, I'm going to have to wait for this one to move out of the way. This is one of the places where the NPCs actually have no boundaries where they can uh, move. This person should be up here, but sometime they'll be in the opposite corner of the map. Okay, we need to use the truth fire to get the lying gnome to give us something. I'm going... Maikuyama came up with the idea that... The fire is actually just a torch that you use to uh, threaten to burn the lying gnome with until he coughs up the, th 
the uh, fur mantle. Now, why do you use an angel spell to uh, summon nymphs? I don't know, that's probably because they were originally angels! for some enhanced gnome interrogation. You know, not many liars are so cheery about being found out. It must be a gnome thing. Actually, no. I won't... I wanted to show you people what exactly happens if you march in there without the uh, fur mantle. Besides, I'm an adventurer! I don't need no warm clothing. Ah! Well, okay, maybe I do. It's like that ice cave in Tales of Destiny. Okay, but that should be about uh, it for now. Next time, I will be taking on two high-risk bosses in one video. See you then. Goodbye.